Good morning, Year 6. Well, as with all things this year, our valedictory service is going to be slightly different to what it should be because we are missing some very special people, your parents. So, because they will be at home watching this, let's give them a great big beaming smile and a lovely wave. So, what does valedictory mean? Well, the word valedictory, put simply, means an address of farewell. And that is exactly why you are here today. Because at prep school, we want to say goodbye to all 40 of you who are leaving year six at prep school and moving on to year seven at Barney or elsewhere. I would like to begin with a short poem. We have all been together now for many of us for several years, sharing our hopes, dreams and fears. Sharing your journey, laughing and growing, and now after senior school, you are going. As school years go, this one has been pretty tough, with working at home and all the online stuff. It's not been the final year we had hoped, but we are amazed at your strength and how well that you've coped. What we have learned in a time like this is what's truly important and the friends that we miss. Hold on to the memories that we have shared, remembering friends and those who have cared. You will all hold a place that is special in our heart for the courage you have shown from the very start. You have carried on regardless during this period of change and continued on when things were strange. You're moving on to changes new filled with the confidence you need to see you through. As I look back in the future, I'll think of you and smile, the children who showed awesome resilience and went the extra mile. So though it's time to say prep school goodbyes, remember, it's not the end. We will all live in your memories as special prep school friends. From all of us at prep school, we wish you the very best. Remember, smiles and hard work will be your key to success. Today is a day devoted to saying well done to everyone in year six for everything that you have achieved. It's a day where we take time to recognise that your time at prep school has come to an end and an exciting new chapter draws near. Year six, each one of you has worked hard and played hard, meeting challenges head on. I know you have all had that wonderful feeling of success as well as disappointment at times. The wonderful thing is that you've learned from your experiences and moved forward with greater confidence. As your journey as a preppy comes to an end, be proud not just of your achievements, but of the fine young people you are in the process of becoming. You are only just at the beginning of your journey and learning is a continuous journey that will never end, and there is no final destination. There are so many different journeys for you to take, and what works for you might be totally different to what works for your best friend, or your brother, or sister. Dead for you, because it's your journey. Your journey to further develop your confidence, your happiness, and your success. Be keen to try new things, question the world around you and be curious of what the future holds. And this year, to remind you to always to find your confidence and dare to be brilliant, I have a small gift for you all in the form of a book for you to treasure from your time in prep school and remind you of how great it is to persevere with your journey. Be in control of what happens. Make things happen for you. Do not follow others or let others get in the way of your journey. You are awesome, so dare to be you. These are all included in your memory boxes, so let's begin with these presentations.
And now year six, your prep school memories. It's like Miss Michelin. Yeah, she was nice. Yeah, she was really nice. I love the penguin pool. Uh, yeah. I remember when we started school and uh, me meeting Joe again because we uh, used to play a lot in year three. Oh, I, I, I love Gibside. Gibside was, yeah, I really like Gibside. My biggest memory is when, when I joined year six that I'm always thinking that this is going to be my last year so I need to spend the time really well. Oh, um, everything. <laughs> Mostly. Yeah, I probably miss everything. I'd miss. Um, and I would miss like the size of the school, how small it is to get around everywhere. <laughs> I miss all the fun lessons because I know when we go into year seven, it's going to be like really stressed out because there's more work <laughs> to do over there. Yeah. I feel like it's like a happy place. It's a good place to come just to relax and do your work and edu get educated. Like we're always a family. And even like we're still in touch with the people that have left. Uh, it's really fun. You get to go on loads of trips. Uh, you meet great people. The teachers are really nice. But when I came to prep school, it just, it just feels like a second home. Um, I think it prep school has given us friends and confidence. Yeah. Because some of the people I would not have met if I didn't come here. Definitely giving me confidence. Yeah, a lot of confidence, a lot of courage, yeah. and not to like be afraid of something. At my old school, we didn't do music, and I think that was a really sad part of it. So coming to Barney and learning new instruments and new music is probably my favorite, my favorite thing. When you first joined me, you did this, dude. Can it not be like you were like instantly? Can it, can it still be like? My favourite memory with him was probably um, the penguin pool where we, yeah. me and you went to dinner. Once. Yes, penguin pool. The first time I went on SJ and found home playing football and started joining in, and we've been doing that ever since. Uh, kindness. Me. Well, everything in the Barney way. Yeah. And um, confidence, perseverance, a growth mindset, and to follow the Barney way and to be a role model. I think it being a good preppy is about the kindness you give to other people and how you respect other people because some because some people are different. Well, everyone's different in their own sort of way. Be honest, follow the Barney way. And do the right thing. And do the right thing. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm.
So, just before we end our service and in the spirit of reflection, a final few words, the valedictory to our Year 6 children. Be proud not just of your achievements, but of the boys and girls you are becoming. You have aspired, endeavoured and achieved, and I have no doubt will continue to do so as you travel on your journey. You are a memorable, friendly and multi-talented group of boys and girls, and I know I speak for all the staff when I say that we will miss you. I would like you to continue the awesome journey that you are on, but to take a moment to reflect and remember how far you have already travelled over the last seven years. Remember to take risks, dare to fail, and most importantly, give it everything, year six. Aim to be the very best you can be at all times. And I know you'll get there because you dare to be you and that makes you awesome. Let us pray. Dear God, as we look back over the last few years and recall the friendships that we have formed and the good relationships that we have developed on our journey, we give thanks for all who have enriched our lives in various ways at home, in school and in our Barney community. In giving thanks for what has been in the past, we ask for your blessing on our present and our future and ensure the Barney Way stays with us forever and always on our journey through life. Amen. So, good luck Year 6, keep in touch and remember, once a preppy, always a preppy!